Welcome to Magic to Millions. We document this guy's journey, where I take this stuff, and turn it into this stuff. Welcome back, guys. Yep. Um, we're about to bust into some antiquities, so this won't be a super long video because we're not doing two antiquities packs at once. That did not end well. No, no. Um, that, but that was a bad idea. <laughs> it was the, the experience was priceless. <laughs> yeah, I, I still distinctly remember a lot of pain. Okay. So say we got two left in front of us. Which one do you want? And I'll take the other one. I don't. I don't mind. We're we're gonna open them eventually. I know so. they're both gonna get open, but I, I want you to choose. Which one do you want? Okay. Uh, let's see. This one ha is clean. I usually take the. Oh, they're both rather clean. I don't have a preference. I'll take the more bent one. Okay. I will open this one then. We'll, we'll save that one for you in the next the next video here. Yep. All right, guys. So the next loop, the next sequence of different video, uh, different packs getting opened. Right down in the middle. They'll both. And these open up so much nicer than the dark, too. Yeah, they do. Oh, eat my words. That's still a lot nicer than the dark. Still a lot nicer than the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Starting with the the blue, the blue common, the expensive blue common. This thing spiked up to almost $15 at one point. Wow. Drafna's Restoration. And there, there are always surprises in antiquities, it seems. So let's let's see. All right. So Drapna's Restoration, two blues in a row. Sage of Latnam. Okay. Sage of Latnam, not as good. Drapna's Restoration, cool art, Amy Weber art, but bad center. <coughs> let's continue. And let's see. We have Urza's Power Plant. Hey, Power Plant. Okay. That's a good one. The land, land. We land, always take land. the lands. Yeah. This That's... one is centering got worse, but, and then the edge corners, this corners. Urza's might be yeah, gradable. This one looks solid. Yeah. It looks really nice. Ooh, ooh, artifact? Battering Ram, okay. Have this not seen Battering Ram. It does look really nice. This looks at least nine quality, maybe with upside. That surface is immaculate. This Battering Ram looks really, really nice too, actually. We might have a couple of good, good commons in here, it looks like. Let's see. It would have to be exceptional. Because Battering Ram's like a 20 cent card. This is like a $20 <laughs> card. So see, I, I'm, I'm focusing on the dollar amount because the multiplier is usually based oh, on yeah. the dollar amount. Yeah, it's so. like way, way, more bigger, more better, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Battering, Battering Ram. Ram. Oh. I go thing. Pixies, Pixies has actually gone up as well. So let's see. Ram. Um, It looks nice. It's nice, but you see this rough edge and... A little nick on the corner. Oh, yeah, too much. I, I don't know. Well, we'll look at it, but yeah. probably, probably too much. It might not be worth enough to grade. Yeah. All right, and then we got the pixies. This is actually worth a buck or two. Really? Yep. Staff of Zegon. I okay. see an artifact in the Isn't back. Isn't Staff of Zegon worth a good, good couple bucks? No, the the pixies actually are because of their protection from artifacts. Hmm. But this one is not well centered. So that's a staff of Zegon. This is the last, last common. Damping field, okay. Yeah, look, I mean, look at what it does. It's a mono artifact. Target creature loses minus two, minus zero until end of turn. So that's seven mana just to uh, get a creature to hmm. do two less damage. That is actually very expensive. Yes, it's very bad. Damping field is the first uncommon. What is the rip? Oh, there's a rush. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Ooh. That is, oh God. Ooh. Yeah, damping field, you got a little mm. bit of damage up there. This, uh, it's too much, you gotta, yeah. You've got a fish eye in the back, you've got corner and edge Make stuff. Make it go away. <laughs> Racolite, Christopher Isn't Rush. Chris Rush artwork though, it's probably, it's worth a few bucks at least. But... I think it's worth a couple bucks, but the centering is bad and, oh man, usually, uh... usually we, <sighs> Usually we uh, have more to say, and usually we have more to grade, but this is a one out of eight pack. At least where it was an Urza's power plant, though. A power plant, <laughs> yeah. I mean, after grading, we might, we might get we might 100, do okay. 200 bucks back, but 
these were a yeah, fail. That was a, that was a pounding yeah. on that one. Yeah, we, we're really trying to open up. I mean, this is, we're 10 packs in because somebody decided to open two packs in one episode. Hi. And, uh, Hi. yeah, it's, it's looking really rough right now being it 10 is, packs in. It but, is looking a little rough. But we do hope that these are somewhat fair packs and, you know, the great ability has been a little rough. You know, the <clears throat> the tides have been against us, but have the, the rares that pop up seem to, uh, are the uncommons and rares seem to be widely different. Yep. So we're still positive about the remaining packs. We have yeah. total 43 packs, so who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah? All right, guys. Uh, send us the photos, pictures, and prices. And uh, look at that triple PP. Right triple, there. triple, PP. triple P right there. The PPP. <laughs> hey, it sounds like a loan. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, send us the stuff. The emails down below. Um, like and subscribe. Hit that notification button and uh, hit that thumbs up button too for us. And yeah. we will see you guys in the next one. Yep. Bye. Bye.